One of the most popular sneakers from last year is back, this time in a different colorway. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm reviewing the upcoming Air Max 186 Big Bubble in Royal Blue. First off, I want to give a huge thank you to Takeout NY for sending over this pair of sneakers early to check out and review for you guys. If you haven't heard of Takeout NY, it's one of the best sneaker boutiques in New York City. They also carry Apothecary socks in store, so if you want to grab Apothecary socks in store, that's one of the only places you can do it. But again, big thank you to them, and of course you can grab this pair of sneakers when it officially releases on March 22nd at Takeout NY for a retail price of 150 bucks. For some reason, at least as far as I can tell, this shoe is not releasing in men's sizing. It is releasing in extended women's sizing, so men like myself with not size 13 feet can still rock pairs, and it is also releasing in grade school and toddler sizes, but for whatever reason, they are not releasing this officially in men's sizing. At least, not right now. Even on the sneakers app, they only have women's sizes available. Which is odd because last year's version of the Air Max 1 Big Bubble released in full family sizing. So while the pair that I have here is in my size, a size 9 men's, it's actually a women's size 10 and a half. But with that out of the way, let's dive right into the box. So last year, Nike introduced this new box along with their Air Max 1 Big Bubbles that released on Air Max Day. And I've got to say, this is a very, very cool package. It's this black matte box with red scratches all over it. It's got this clear Nike swoosh on the top so you can see through to whatever is underneath. Usually it's just white paper. And then on both of the longer sides, you've got these four dots to represent the Big Bubble on the Air Max 1. Moving to the front of the box, you've got the size tag, and like I already mentioned, I grabbed a size 10.5 women's, size 9 men's, because again, the shoe does not come in men's, and the official colorway of this shoe is white royal blue. But before we dive into the materials that make up the Air Max 1 Big Bubble, let me first try the shoe on and show you guys how it fits. So I don't know if you know this, but Nike's releasing special sneakers for my birthday. Do you know that? I didn't. They really like me in Nike. Air Max Day? Yeah, Air Max Day. They don't really send me any sneakers. They don't like me that much, but they like me enough to release a sneaker on my birthday. Ooh, what are those? These are the Air Max One Big Bubbles. This is the second colorway. First colorway released last year, and it's supposed to look just like the original Air Max Ones. But there is actually one with my birth date on the tongue. It's gonna have like a neon green midsole. It's sick, it's releasing on my birthday, March 26th. That just sounds cool. Super excited about those. I don't have those yet. I'm gonna try and get those. I like these though. Nice, okay, cool. All right, I'm gonna try these guys on really quick, see if they fit just like last year's Air Max Big Bubbles. Not doing a great job tying them. I think you would, you tie sneakers a lot. You would think. I still do bunny ears though. I don't know the other way to tie. Do you really? Yeah, I, really, I genuinely don't know the other way to tie. I mean, I, I have known it, I just don't do it, so I forgot. It makes a better bow, I think. That's what I thought. All right, so on foot, these are a size nine. I'm a size nine. I would say they fit true to size. Nike is generally pretty good about making their sneakers fit true to size, so I would recommend usually going true to size when it comes to any of their mainline sneakers like Air Max Ones. So that's why I'd say for these, I don't know, what do you think of my fit? It's not great. I actually like it a lot. What do you mean? Nice, okay, thanks. Appreciate it. I just threw everything on, you know, no big deal. The sweats look really good with them. Thanks. I know, I would have worn a different color hoodie if I had realized I was putting on the blue shoes today, but. It's whatever. All Apothecary, full Apothecary fit. If you guys want to grab any of this, available on Apothecary.com. Not the sweats, but everything else. The socks too. Apothecary.com, linked in the description below. Yeah, true to size, that's what I recommend. If you're grabbing these, go true to size. I guess you could call them a tad narrow, but that's probably just the case for Air Max 1s in general. So maybe if you have wider feet, maybe go up half a size, but I would say try them on first before you buy them. Just to make sure that you're grabbing the right size for you, because these aren't the cheapest shoes in the world. I like the blue. The blue's nice, yeah. I feel like all my sneakers are red. Well, uh, you have a lot of Jordans. Oh, uh, yep, that's it. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> Michael Jordan played for the Wizards his whole career. You'd have blue sneakers. All right, yeah, true to size. Back to the studio. So like last year's release of the Air Max 1 Big Bubble in University Red, this shoe shares the same history. In fact, back in 1986, the Nike Air Max 1 was the first Nike sneaker to release with visible air. It wasn't the first Nike sneaker to feature air, that was actually the Nike Tailwind, but it was the first one where you could see the air through the midsole. And even though nowadays we've come to know the Nike Air Max 1 as a shoe with a much smaller air unit, this was actually the way that Tinker Hatfield originally designed the shoe. In fact, the first pairs of Nike Air Max 1s that released actually looked like this with the same size air unit. However, unfortunately, back in 1986, the tech was not as good as it is today, and uh, the air bubble started to crack in colder temperatures. So Nike quietly came up with a solution for this problem, and that was to reduce the size of the air unit so it wouldn't be as susceptible to cold as the larger bubble. And essentially what happened is Nike just replaced the large bubble air units on shelves with the smaller bubble air units, and uh, that was that. But now, in 2024, Nike has solved the problem of the larger air unit, and because of that have released these new retro versions of the shoe, the Air Max 186s. No, these newer versions of the shoe aren't going to replace the Air Max 1 that we know and love, but they are going to be a new variation of the shoe that releases from time to time. Like I already mentioned, we got the first version of the shoe last year on Air Max Day, the original University Red colorway, and since then we've actually only gotten like two or three other colorways of the Big Bubble Air Max 1. So it kind of seems like this is going to be a much more limited and special edition version of the shoe versus the standard Air Max 1. So this year for Air Max Day, Nike decided to release another one of the original colorways, the Royal Blue colorway, in the Air Max Big Bubble variant, and I'm stoked it's here. Last year's Air Max 1 Big Bubble in the University Red colorway was one of my favorite 
releases of the year. I love this shoe, I wear it all the time, and I'm really excited that they're releasing another colorway this year. But diving into the materials make up the Air Max One Big Bubbles, you've got this royal blue mudguard and this sort of like nubuck felty feeling material. It's not the most high quality material in the world, but it doesn't feel bad and it's very similar to what we have in all of the other Nike Air Max Ones. One thing I do want to mention about this new version of the shoe is that they've actually cut not only the midsole of the sneaker, like the original 1986 pair, but also the upper of the shoe. So all around, this new big bubble version of the shoe is actually very true to the original. Moving up from the mud guard, you've got this white mesh on the toe, and then moving even farther up from there to the eye stay, you've got more of that same material that you find around the mud guard of the shoe, this time, however, in light gray. Weaving through the eyelets of the shoe, you've got these flat white laces, and underneath that, you've got this white mesh tongue. Top of the tongue features a white tag with the Nike branding embroidered into it in blue, and then moving inside the sneaker, you've got a white fabric sock line. Now, a detail that Nike added to the shoe, which they did on the original 1986 Air Max Ones, is they actually printed the size on the sock liner of the shoe. In this case, it says 10.5 because it's a women's size 10.5. They also did this on last year's version of the Big Bubbles, and they've done it on a lot of other recent release Air Jordan 1s, like the Air Jordan 185s, because it's kind of a cool callback to what they used to do back in the day. The insole of the shoe comes in royal blue with the Nike Air branding printed on the heel in white, and in kind of a cool Easter egg, if you look at the bottom of your Nike Air Max 1 insoles, they have the traction pattern found on the outsole of the shoe pressed into the bottom of the insole as well. I don't really think there's any functional reason for it other than being a cool detail, and I really dig it. Again, for sizing, I recommend going true to size. That's usually how Nike sneakers fit. And also keep in mind that this is women's only release, so make sure that you're doing the math correctly in your head if you're a guy. For example, this is a size 10 and a half women's, which is a size nine in men's. It's usually a size and a half down. Continuing back in the side of the shoe, you've got your royal blue Nike swoosh. And then on the back of the shoe, you've got your Nike Air branding embroidered into the heel in blue. Then moving down on the shoe, you get to last year's retooled big bubble midsole. It features the larger four circle big bubble, which if you look at the older, smaller bubbles, they actually only feature three circles. So the big bubbles come with four circles, and that's why I've got four circles in the box. The foam used in this midsole is also softer than standard Nike Air Max 1s. It's kind of like a, uh, it almost feels like React, but I don't think it is. It might be actually, I don't know. All I know is that these Nike Air Max 1s are significantly softer underfoot than a standard pair for two reasons. One, because the Air Max bubble is larger in this shoe, and two, because the foam that they use is also softer. So in my opinion, I think that the Nike Air Max 1 big bubbles are the most comfortable Air Max 1s ever made. And that's one of the main reasons why I wore last year's pair so much, because it's so comfortable underfoot. Finally, moving to the bottom of the sneaker, you've got your standard Nike Air Max 1 outsole with white rubber, black rubber, and blue rubber. In my opinion, this shoe is awesome. It's a definite cop for me. There is, however, a special edition version of the Nike Air Max 1s releasing for Air Max Day specifically that say March 26th on the tongue, which I really like because that's my birthday. They feature this insanely bright neon green midsole and also, of course, your royal blue upper. It's a shoe that I must grab. I didn't grab the original colorway of the shoe that dropped back in 2016, I think, or 2017. However, that version of the shoe came in the university red colorway instead of the royal blue colorway. I wish I had grabbed it. Looking back, it was dumb not to because the resale price was so cheap. Now it goes for like $800 and uh, it's the only shoe with my birthday on it, so. I don't know, <laughs> it's just a stupid reason, but still I want it for that reason. But no, this shoe is awesome. I definitely recommend picking it up. And again, you can grab it for yourself at Takeout NY on March 22nd. But hey, at this point, I would love to know your thoughts on the upcoming Air Max One Big Bubble Royal Blues and whether you're planning to grab a pair for yourself. So make sure to let me know those thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you all in the next one.